Welcome to another edition of Sunday Dinner Track Soups. Pour a little wine to get started here. Today, we're gonna to be making a vegetable lasagna and a meat lasagna. We're gonna start off with the vegetable lasagna. So I'm gonna turn this pan up and put a little olive oil in it. We've got some diced peppers, onions, and some uh, baby portobello mushrooms in here. Beef up. Got some uh, garlic here. Some shallots. Not too many in there because we already have onions. Cooked. You can see it's getting uh, sort of about a medium point here. We're gonna throw some shallots in and some garlic. Never have to worry about vampires in our house. A lot of garlic. If they don't like garlic, which we don't know about vampires, if they do exist. Roasted some uh, tomatoes and broccoli ahead of time. We're gonna throw that in there. We're gonna take some spinach, some fresh spinach. It looks like a lot, but spinach, fresh spinach, it, uh, it cooks down. It won't seem like there's that much there at the end here. Beef, just a lot of oil, fat in here. We're gonna drain all that out. You don't want to put all that down your sink, all that fat. Plug it right up. So, put a bowl underneath your colander. Let's see how much, uh, how much fat drained off of that. We just want the good stuff. We don't want all that fat. Get a little fry going on with our veggies. Get a sizzling. Get a little olive oil on here. Spinach is a great source of protein for vegetarians who gave up meat, which is the best source of protein that I know. You see, I got a pot of sauce here. You already saw me make that. So, we're not gonna repeat that. Just know that I made it the way that I always make it. And it's here. It's on a low burner. Heating up. Turn our veggies that we fried up into the spinach. So the stuff on top is getting cooked too. Flip it. And you might lose one or two. One or two leaves. It's got a nice aroma coming off it. You notice that big pile of spinach we had here. It's cooking down. We're about halfway through right now. We want all the water, all the vapor to come off of here because we want the water out of this, all the moisture. 
the more it cooks down, the more moisture leaves this, the better it's gonna be when we put our lasagna together. Now that our uh, veggies have cooled down a little bit, we have a big mixing bowl. Make sure we get every good little piece out of there. Julie, you got dishes to do. Not that she's gonna do them. We're gonna take some ricottas. So, some parmesan. Some crushed tomatoes. And, and we're just gonna mix that all up. It sounds a little gross. Tastes so good. We're gonna throw a little marinara sauce in the bottom of our pan. Spread it around. And we have some pre cooked lasagna pasta. These ones on top are. A little more dry than the others, but that's all right. We're gonna put them on the bottom and they're gonna soak up a lot of moisture during the cooking process. Okay, we have that. We're gonna layer in our mixture of vegetables, ricotta, and crushed tomatoes. And I've taken uh, the time. You've already seen this before, what we do with the eggplant. And I did the same with some zucchini. And we're gonna layer that in. Veggie lasagna is done. We're gonna put that in the oven. If it breaks your arm, you know it's good. It's heavy. For our next batch, veggies aren't gonna contaminate our meat, but meat will contaminate the veggies. So, pour our meat right into this bowl, and that's why we do it this way. Veggies first, meat later. We've got our second tub of ricotta. And that one came out nice and easy. The rest of our crushed tomatoes. Parmesan. Some mozzarella. And we're just gonna mix this up. Now that we're all 
mixed up. We'll grab our other lasagna pan. And like we did with the other. something too, right? We're going to be visiting them today, so we're going to a pan of lasagna. That one we're just gonna leave alone, put a cover on it. We'll let them bake it when they get it. <laughs> 